Today we're gonna to be making the pants part of our mum, meaning the tails. So we're going to take a number 16, which is the wider ribbon, cut it to 15 inches. You can have shorter than 15, but your max is 15 inches. Then you are going to lay them where there's three and they are splayed apart. You will take a number nine ribbon and put in the windows of those. Once you have done this, you're going to cut three more number nine ribbons and put in between the windows of that. Now we're going to take number five ribbon and we're going to place it over the tops of the last layer of number nine that we put in our mom bottoms. All right, now that we have those three inserted, we're going to take two more number fives and we're going to put those in the window between the three that we just inserted. Now I'm taking three number three ribbons. I'm cutting them a little bit longer than 15 inches. I'm gonna fold them in half, making a little triangle, and then I'm going to insert them in the windows of the last layer of ribbon that we just inserted. If you notice, they're not even. We wanna give a little bit of depth and texture to our mum, and that is the way they look right now. After these have been inserted, I'm going to cut two more number three ribbons, a little longer than 15 inches, fold them just like the white ribbons, and I will insert those in the windows of the last layer of ribbon that I inserted. By now you've noticed there's a pattern. We're just taking ribbon and we're cutting it and folding it in half and placing it in the windows of the previous layer of ribbon that we inserted. So here I have three number ones that I'm folding, inserting, and then I'm going to do the same thing with two number one maroon ribbons, folding them and placing them in the windows. Now that I have my ribbons all situated, I'm going to start dovetailing my ribbon. It's just a clean, more professional look to any kind of ribbon that you have, whether it's an arrangement or in a mum. You just fold the ribbon in half, take your scissors at a 45 degree angle, and cut, and it should create a dovetail. If you do it the wrong way, you'll create a point. Now it's time to insert our flower. Here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna put some glue in, we'll insert our flower, and then we will take our stapler and we will add some staples to secure it in place. Now to make our top loop. We're just going to do a regular loop like we did for our mom top, our t-shirt. Then we're gonna take some pipe cleaner, make a little round circle. We'll hot glue this. The reason we're doing this is because when you decide to hang this on your wall, you'll have something sturdy to hang it to. Now time to attach the t-shirt to the pants. 
We're gonna take our hot glue, we're gonna glue down our t-shirt, our mum top. And once we've done this, we're not done with the stapler yet. We're going to staple it in place. One of the most important things in floral design is hiding your mechanics. The reason we do this is because some of those staples could possibly snag a shirt, a dress, and ruin our customers' clothes. So we're gonna take another round circle and glue it to the back so that we hide those mechanics. And this is how to make a mom. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. I hope you enjoyed making it as much as I did.